Alright, so I thought the fifth tutorial where I showed you how to deploy an app was going to be the final one in this series, but I didn't like how I left the application in such disarray. So I'm going to show you how to build a simple task management utility in Flask. I call it Flask Tasker. So just a note, you can find this tutorial in code at realpythonfortheweb.com. Okay, so let's take a look at the final product first. So users can log in. And then after logging in, users can then add new tasks like so. Set a priority, save, and you can see that it was added on here. And users can then see the open and close tasks. So you have open and closed. And then, of course, they can mark task close or delete tasks. So when tasks are deleted, they are deleted from the database. So let's say for this one, learn to read. Just did it, so I'm going to mark it as complete. Task was marked as complete. You can see it moved down here. And then I'm a little embarrassed about that, so let's go ahead and delete that. Task was deleted. And then, of course, you can log out. And then if you enter add user credentials, an error populates there. Okay, so let's go ahead and build this thing. And we're going to go ahead and start with the database. So let me go ahead and shut down the server. Move into the correct folder now. So we're going to start with the database, and we're going to have to completely start over from the last one. So based on the functionality of the program, we're going to need a task ID, which is going to be auto-incremented, the task name, due date, priority, and then the status. So status is auto-assigned as 1 when tasks are entered, which means that the task is still open. And then once a task is marked as completed, the 1 is changed to a 0. So let me go ahead and run this file. And you can see I put some dummy data in there. So let's just go ahead and make sure that um, got set up correctly. So I'm going to go into SQLite Manager. Let's go ahead and open up the database. Open this up here, F-Tasks, so you can see the different fields here, and you can see the data here. So you got task ID, the task name, due date, and then the priority. Scroll over, you can see the status is set as 1. Cool. Okay, so let's make some quick changes to the routes file. First, we need to update the database name, and it is Flask task and we're going to remove both the home and welcome functions so we don't need those views anymore we're not going to use them anymore at least and then we need to change the log function to the main directory this is actually going to change to tasks and then let's go ahead and change the hello function to tasks. So after we log in, it's going to redirect us to tasks. I'm going to take out these old SQL queries here. And we're going to render the template tasks. So let me go ahead and save that for now. And I have a new style sheet to add, which I've already put in there. You can see it here. So the style sheet link now needs to be added to the templates file. So let me go ahead and open that up. And I'm going to go ahead and copy and paste this over just to save some time. 
So you can see I updated the title there. Here is the updated style sheet. And also to eliminate some code redundancy, I added the flash messages to the template rather than on each view. So let me go ahead and save that. So then back on the routes file, we need to update the task function to query the database for open and close tasks. So I'm just going to copy and paste this over again. So you can see here we're querying for open tasks here with status is 1 and close tasks here with status is 0. That returns a dictionary which we assign to a variable, open tasks, and then close tasks, and then those two variables are getting passed on to task.html. Okay, so next we need to be able to add new tasks. So let's add a function called new task. So you can see here that there are a bunch of if statements which check to make sure certain data is entered and then that will populate an error depending on which fields are left out. So for example if the date and priority are not entered into the HTML form then you will get the message or the error message you forgot the task date and priority try again. And then so if everything is entered correctly then this SQL statement will execute and the data will be entered. And you can see here for status that is automatically set as one. Okay, so finally we need to be able to add the ability to delete and mark tasks as complete. So let me copy those over. So there's delete, I'll explain that in just a second. And here's how we mark task as complete. So if you look at how these functions work, we're passing in a variable task ID, task ID, and that comes from task.html. And that task ID is then used in the SQL query right here. And since the task ID is an integer and the query is a string, we need to change the integer to a string or else we'll get a concatenation error. With that done, I'll go ahead and save that. We need to make some massive changes to the task.html file. So let me go ahead and resave this as tasks. And I will definitely be copying and pasting this over. Okay, let's look and see what's going on here. So really you've seen everything here before. So up here is the HTML form where we add a new task. Down here is a for loop for pulling in the open tasks. And the same is going on down here for the closed tasks. So the only thing that you haven't seen before is the task ID variable, which is getting passed to routes.py. And what's going on, it's really just pulling the ID dynamically from each database record as the for loop progresses. So this is the record from the database, and then we're assigning that to task ID, and then that task ID is getting passed back to here. So it's pretty simple once you can actually look at it. Okay, well that's it. Let me go ahead and save task.html, and let's go ahead and run this thing locally. So I'm going to fire up the server so we don't see any errors, nothing yet. I'm going to go ahead and refresh. Okay, so let's enter a dummy one. It doesn't work. Invalid credentials. Let's enter the correct one. Okay, we got forwarded here. Let me add a new task. due date in, set the priority, go ahead and save that. So new entry was successfully posted, finish this video, and let's mark it as complete, because we're just about done. And you can see that it moved to close tasks. Let's see what happens when we delete. Delete, so we get the task was deleted, 
and when we log out, we are pushed back to the login screen. Cool. Anyway, I'm going to leave this series alone for a while and listen to your feedback to see what additional features you'd like to see. I definitely want to show you advanced debugging, um, editing of tasks, deployment of, to Heroku, data validation. But definitely please let me know what else you'd like to see in the comments. And again, you can view the code and the full tutorial on RealPython for the web.com. Thanks again for watching.